shooting that over to me yesterday. What's going on, Jay? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like we're still having techie issues. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. It happens. It happens. Well, we'll see if we can get that round up and, and fix the mundo. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah. Ah, there's there's tech issues, Ron. It's all good. <laughs> we'll get it through as soon as we can. Um, and yeah, whatnot. I redid my tech yesterday. Well, not really redid it. Just uninstalled it and reinstalled it. Then yeah, I had an update on my computer and just kind of made things go eh, out of whack. So, but uh, so far everything's coming through just fine. We uh, we'll just have to help Miss J get her get her things up and rolling. All right, so. Yeah, we got this. We got the big event coming on uh, this Saturday, and we'll be doing kind of like a little preview because in October, that's where I got your six-two featuring Madison Rising is going to be in the same place. So I'm kind of kind of stoked about that. So <laughs> yeah, so we'll get a you get a little inside look at the venue. Um, it's pretty badass. It's got one, two, three, four, like five different sections to this place. So it's actually pretty damn big. You know, the guy, uh, Peter the Bonnet, made a pretty damn wise decision, I have to say. And it's it's a country bar, on right? It's a Western saloon on top of that. So, you know, even after the fundraiser, man, I'll go out there and, and, and check him out, man. He, uh, he, uh, they're going to have line dancing lessons and all kinds of shit going on out there, uh, may even see a live radio show here and there pop up 
Just saying. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but we do want to say thanks for, for hosting a case kick for cancer. That, that that means a lot, you know, when, when somebody that's just new to the to the area that's coming in and whatnot that wants to help out. And thanks for everybody that's helping out. Thanks to, to Jade and her man for, for bringing what they're bringing to help out. You know, thanks to Keith coming down and and everybody that's, that's taking a part of it, Chris Rivka, everybody that's up trying to trying to spread the message and stuff like that. And that's, you know, that's something very, very important that I think that, you know, we should all do. Uh-oh. Are okay. you there? Can you hear me now? I hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Right. It, my headset's not working. I don't know if it's just not jiving with it, so I just put it back on the regular. Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's not jiving. <laughs> Righteous. It's not jiving. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. Ah, well, we'll get it fixed. Yeah. Yeah. He's too stepping. Too heavy. No, Ryan, I don't have a left foot, man. I got a right foot. But I'll be two stepping with one right foot. <laughs> ah, lordy. So my with a cap turned. boot on it. No shit, right? Uh, that's it. Right. <laughs> so my little girl turned 14 today. Oh, good oh, happy birthday. Nah, thank you, thank you. I'm sitting here kind of like, oh. <laughs> Got up, texted her this morning. Happy birthday, all that good stuff. So, oh, thank you, Dad. I love you. Can't wait to go home. That's like, I know. <laughs> Can't wait. Of course, they're coming down to help me move. You get, you'll probably get to meet the kiddos. They'll be, they'll be there with me Saturday. So, oh, really? Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know if mine are coming yet or not, because if my oldest son, you know, he's 17, so he kind of, he comes and goes as he wants, you know, I try to get him to spend more time with me, but he's just right. kind of like at that age where he, he drives and he wants to do his own thing, you know, so yeah. I'm going to try to see if they, if they want to come, um, and if not, then, then we'll just come, darn it, and we'll have fun. Yeah, hey, that's, you know, Anthony's the same way. He comes and goes as he wants. I'm fixing to get him his upgrade on his phone at the end of the month. Yeah, he's uh, kind of sucking right now because he ran over his other phone. So I'm like, oh, you suck. <laughs> Left it on top of his car and backed up, ran right over that sucker. And, that's exactly uh, what I was going to say. He left it on top of his car, didn't he? Because I've done that. I can't tell you how many times. Yep, sure enough. And, uh, <laughs> You know, it's sad. I was like, I told him, I kept telling his mom, I was like, would you have Anthony call me, damn it? You know, over like the last like four days. <laughs> so yesterday I was like, I called to school at like two o'clock. I was like, yeah, you leave a message for my son. Tell him to call his father when he can. And like 10 minutes later, he called me up. What's up? I was like, have you not got any of my messages? Nope. I was like, figures. <laughs> it's like, I will be there to get you after school on Friday. <laughs> He's coming down here to help me move. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know you've been waiting on that. <laughs> uh, but they're look at, excited. Look at you. Look, look at Brian talking shit already. <laughs> yeah, I know. I hear Jade is late today. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> But I did wake up late. I, I'm telling you, I'm not a morning person, so I wake up probably about mm, anywhere from – 30 to five minutes before the show. <laughs> but, 30 uh, or five minutes before the show starts. Nice. <laughs> I'm so go like, <laughs> it just depends on the morning. But, um, but I got my Red Bull. My, my boyfriend got me up. He was like, you're not up yet. I thought you were up. Cause he woke me up one time and I, <laughs> Oh, I sleep. And he started getting the computer and everything for me. So, so sweet. That's awesome. Look at, look at Mr. J fucking getting it done, man. I know. You know there so you go, sweet. brother. You set, you know, set don't function well in the mornings. <laughs> set the standard, brother. Set the standard. I'm telling you, that's what's up. He's <laughs> what's awesome, up. but um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out later what that issue is, but no, I'm sure it's yeah, something freaking cool. simple. I'm you know sure. what's really cool though about it? I um my my work was supposed to reimburse me for my headset that I bought for work and um I I lost a receipt so I think I'm gonna get reimbursed for this through my job. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, there you go. Make it happen, uh, Captain. Anyway. That's what's up. There you go. Get you a nice one. <laughs> 
What's the next that you're supposed to read verse me? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> so you call them up, make sure what the max is. Everything. I hope they don't see what kind of cord it is, though. If they see the end cord, they're going to know it's not meant for my kind of phone. But but it's in the wrapper and everything, so hopefully they can see all that. And the receipt, uh, you know, doesn't go into detail. So. There you go. I should get reimbursed. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Look at her. She's smart. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh so we got a couple days. Uh freaking stuck to my move. I gotta go get boxes and shit today. Hey. Uh, I, this is the part that I hate is the little shit. Shit. Yeah. I'm fucking just uh I was sitting there talking to Aries Cobain from Rick on one this morning. Uh morning. his son started uh, middle school today. And uh I guess he skipped skipped up a grade uh through Third half of the year, which is badass. And uh, he's, he was there. We, me and him was talking about the same thing. Like, I hate the little shit. <laughs> I was like, I know, man. I can't stand it either. I like, but Keith, Keith will be coming in on Friday. So Keith, <laughs> Keith don't know it, but he's going to help me pack. <laughs> so, he might know it now if he's listening. Uh, yeah. Well, he might know now. You have been warned. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be here. He's gonna be here all weekend too. So guess what? He gets to do on Sunday. <laughs> he gets help to move the boss. <laughs> so, so he doesn't live around here. Um, no, he's from uh, Kentucky. Oh wow, that's yeah. cool. He's coming down. Yeah, we got people coming out of state for uh, for Crystal's fundraiser, which is sweet. You know, and uh, we talked to Chris Ripley last night. And we're gonna do a live feed on uh, raw, <clears throat> uh, real, raw, real, and live. Uh, Saturday, we're gonna do a special episode, and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be live streaming live from the venue. Uh, let Crystal get on there and talk a little bit, and tell people how they can donate to her GoFundMe page and stuff like that to help her mom out. And, uh, and uh, we'll be on there a little bit, yeah. and uh, you know, yeah. got some got some cool things coming up with Chris. To be honest, we didn't talk for quite a while last night, and. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty fucking excited, you know. Y'all might be seeing a, a live stream show coming up here pretty soon. <laughs> so um, snarky. snarky, awesome! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we got some we got some cool things coming up here pretty soon. So uh, we got uh, Anthony from the Veteran Exchange and the host of Barracks Lawyers will be joining me Saturday morning. Um, so that's pretty cool. Get him, get his butt up on here. And I told Chris whenever he's ready and willing to come jump on the morning show with us and have a blast. You know, come on. Of course, he's in a different time zone, so kind of, yeah, kind of, kind of feeling when he's in mountain time, like three hours behind us. So. He's a cool, dude, man. I appreciate everybody's help, man. For real, that, that means a lot to see people jumping in and, and helping out with. With this fundraiser, especially when it deals with something that's so nasty like fucking cancer, man. Can't, uh, can't yeah, I'm hoping we get a big turnout. <clears throat> I've tr- I've posted it and reposted it quite a few times, so I'm hoping hoping people will come. Oh, I'm sure they will, and we appreciate you sharing oh. that stuff out. And uh, y'all come out, have fun, get a you know, it, it's yeah. it's the support of really good cause to help somebody fighting for cancer. Yeah, you know, we got a couple things out there. You know, Jay, Jaden, Mr. Jade is bringing some uh, cool ass necklaces to sell and donate all the proceeds to her. And yeah, Jake and Josh from Moonshiners coming down to do autographs and shit. And I did ask her, so I was like, man, please tell me you're bringing some. Please, please. And she's like, I don't think they were. I was like, oh, rats. Oh, well. That's not the reason why we're supposed to be coming anyway. So, yeah. I'll bring my mini bottles to my pocketbook. Yeah.